Hi guys, it's me. I finished working and now I want to show you our ordinary, ordinary streets. Um, wait a sec. Okay, I'm ready. Usually I show you the city center, the center of Moscow, but today I decided to show you our ordinary streets where we live. Usually our buildings where we live, live <laughs> look like this. And uh, very often you can see um, place for children. Today I translated this word but now I don't remember. <laughs> I think it's not a problem for you because uh, it's easy <laughs> to understand what children can uh, do this, uh, do there. <laughs> Sometimes bad uh, drivers can park their cars on this area. Uh, this area is special for uh, people, for me, for example. And now I ha I can uh, walk here, but sometimes uh, someone decided to park here their car, and I just can't to go there, for example. Also, sometimes you can uh, often. Not sometimes, often you can see buildings like that. Uh, it's more modern <laughs> building and um, I don't like these buildings. And uh, it's one reason one, why I don't like to live in Moscow, in Russia, because we don't have a lot of beautiful buildings for living. Of course, uh, I understand <laughs> that it's not a big problem because our apartment isn't too expensive and we can buy them if we decided to do it. I have a script for, the, for this video, but I don't have time for it. Ah, I wanted to tell you that uh, <laughs> we called places where we live, a um, place for sleeping. Um, in Russian, спальный район. And I translated these words and Google told me that in English it's resident area, resident area, but I'm not sure. Living in Moscow um, is comfortable because usually in our uh, sleeping area, area for sleeping, <laughs> I'm sorry, um, we have детский сад. We have детский сад <laughs> for children. It's a place where we can leave our children if we have to go to work. There are a lot of trees here. I like it. It's not the most beautiful area in Moscow, uh, but I wanted to show you the real situation of where we live every day. I'm just going ahead and uh, now I see the third place for children. It's more big. There are a lot of cars. It's a place for trash. Usually we have stores for work with groceries uh, close to our home. For example, there people live and they can just uh, buy different groceries, different food, food uh, 
here. Um, I see one, two, three, four, five, around five or six uh, different stores in this place. I don't understand why, but one man decided to tell me something and it's strange. <laughs> but I think he he isn't dangerous for me now. Look, it's our buildings for living. Oh. <laughs> and place for children. I wanted to show you places like Valbiris or Azon sometimes or not often <laughs> often we buy something online and uh, we have special places where we can um, get our stuffs which we bought <laughs> All our streets usually are uh, the same. <laughs> Maybe it's boring. I don't know. Write a comment, please. What do you think about Moscow streets? I checked on the map. Uh, the map. I checked the map and uh, understood that uh, there are two or three uh, different hospitals here uh, near this place. Okay, here you can see Spirban. It's a big Russian bank. Uh, a restaurant, wine and food. can buy ice cream or newspaper paper or paper <laughs> or magazine a magazine it's a bus and it's a hospital polyclinic in Russia It's a hospital too. I found a good place for showing you. And of course we have a lot of charges. Charges? Okay. Um, I think you can find uh, a charge in all areas of Moscow and um, especially especially in the city center okay it's a ordinary place where we live um, a lot of people work in the city center, but after their work, they come back um, in areas like that, where they have grocery stores, charges, um, clinics, maybe parks, etc. Uh, schools, of course, uh, etc. I can't say that only in the city center you can live with comfort. By the way, our stores work every day, uh, in the weekends too. And we can buy medicine, 
or food if we need it. If we want to buy something. That's all for today. Write a comment please. What do you think about Moscow streets? Uh, see you soon. Bye.